to go. Oh, my goodness. Come here, Mama. Please. You want to go see Daddy? <laughs> And we are Star of 90 Day, VNC Kobe Gloss is considering relocating to Cameroon, but his spouse, Emily Bieberly, isn't too sure about it. During a preview for the upcoming Sunday, July 7, 90 Day VNC, Happily Ever After, episode, Kobe, 35, mentioned that they would consider spending a little while in his home country as his kids grow up. The former Leary model said to his wife, I mean, it's easier with the money we have saved, we can even rent. We can even build, if we want to build a house. Considering the amount of money we have already saved, we can equally do that. Well, it's just that living in America is costly. The money we have, like owning a house, won't amount to anything. Ever since Emily, 31, and Kobe moved to the United States during season 10 of 90 Day Fiancé, the Kansas native has been known to live at her parents' house. When Emily learned she was pregnant their second child, their original intention was to move out of the house as soon as they settled in America. Emily was taken aback when her spouse mentioned relocating to Africa. We're very fortunate to live in America and have our kids grow up here, but I also absolutely love your culture and traditions," she retorted. Kobe contended that although their two kids, Coben and Scarlett, would have a better life in America, the relocation might only be a short-term one or two years. After coming here, I've realized that raising a family in Cameroon will be much less expensive. It's not just about money and what we have," he said. At first, I never thought about raising a family in Cameroon. Investing in our children is the key. At this point, even a year or two spent growing up in Cameroon will greatly aid the children in understanding the country's culture. In Season 8 of 90 Day Fianke, Happily Ever After, Kobe and Emily shared photos from their vacation to Cameroon. Being the first person in his family to marry outside of Cameroon, the native of Cameroon was first anxious to present his American bride to his family. This is something I'm really concerned about, he said, acknowledging that he honestly didn't know how his friends and family would respond to his wife. Although Kobe's family greeted the 90-day fiancé actors with open arms, his Cameroonian friends did not hold back in telling him that they thought his new American bride was naggy. Usually assume that they're not content in their partnerships. In a solo interview on April 7, Kobe's buddy, Valerie stated, their cultures are really different from our own cultures, because in Africa, the women have to be submissive to us. However, I am aware that things are different there. Everyone has equal rights, and I believe that when you are unable to exercise those rights as a man and an African, you are not happy. The turmoil with Kobe's pals didn't seem to have an impact on Emily and Kobe's relationship, either, as they announced they were expecting their third child together while traveling. In March 2024, the couple had their third child, a son called Adam.